Hello YouTube, this is Snail Wolf. Today I'm going to tell you about my uh, camera right here. This one, believe it or not, is built for 50 euros. Yeah, that I have to say is without the, the lens, but even this little lens uh, will only set you back 20 or 30 euros, it's a very old thing. But just the camera in, to, uh, in its entirety is just uh, 50 euros uh, for the, the, the different parts. And that includes the film holders. So 50 euros. What are, are the parts that I used? Well, actually it's quite simple. Uh, three millimeter MDF for the, the front board. Then these pieces, because actually there are two uh, sort of boxes or frames. You'll see that this here, this thing is a frame. Just a little square frame. Two of them, one here, one here. Then I just picked up in a, in a shop for like 10 euros. There were boxes who, that you can slide uh, together. Do you want me to show you? I'll show you one moment. So it's, it's this kind of thing. See? These boxes you can hang on the wall as a, just for decor, uh, decoration. Yeah, you can hang them on the wall if you want. That's the kind of boxes I use. See, they slide in quite well. They have also some space in between them, so that's perfect. Now, those are the boxes. Then this thing here, the bellows, as it see, uh, looks like. That's super cheap. I just bought a, a fake leather skirt. And uh, I used it as a sort of a bellows. But underneath, there's... Uh, so a plastic bag that I just put around it and I fixed it with tape then I put the skirt over it and it really functions very well as a bellows it, it's no problem at all look you can slide it out adjust then you may ask how can you slide it out because the bellows don't really have any function they're not rigid here inside I have a sliding mechanism and that's made with sliders from a, uh, just a pair of uh, drawers. I used three of them, two at the bottom, one at the top. So these little pieces of wood and they're used uh, for lining the floors or lining the walls. Just a bit like this little, this piece here. Okay, this is a lot thicker, but you know what I'm talking about. It's actually just to decorate the walls and the the sides of your floors so cut them to size and glue them on and voila it's ready to go you, you actually got this camera built in under one hour like one hour and one hour and a half and the painting as you can see is not finished yet but it doesn't really matter as it is it's very functional and I actually you can see I um, just uh, fitted the, the bellows or the skirt as you will with zip ties for now, that will do. As it is now, you've got excellent results. Just like this, this camera can really uh, make some nice pictures. Okay, so that, that's for the camera itself. But the camera itself is not enough to take pictures. You also need a ground glass, which I also constructed by myself. Just a piece of glass and scotch tape over it. And you can just slide it in here. moment I open it up you can just put in your ground glass like so lock it up again adjust your image once you found your image and uh, made your adjustments you can open it up again take out the ground glass and of course, you need to make your own film holders, which is super easy, by the way. Also made with 3mm MDF board. This one is a uh, sort of thick cardboard, I think 1mm. Slide it open, close. And don't worry about this, it's light tight. Really, this, this is super functional. And again, you can the other way around of course you can fit it in Voila. Up. 
close up this thing and then open it up take your picture of course if you got the shutter at the front use the shutter and otherwise you're just going to use hatting it just up one two three or whatever and then up. lock it up and close the slide that's it so it's very cheap but it works brilliantly and the ground glass that's the only real difficult thing to make that that's really quite that takes quite some measuring because it doesn't look like much but it works and that's just it works very well because all the measurements the depth especially is exactly the same as the plane of the film holder that you need to really be very careful with and everything needs to be black i don't forget everything needs to be blacked out very important i will make uh, another video where i'll go into detail on how exactly i constructed this one I will put in some pictures, this also dark slide because it's very important and the film holder, how to make it. It's, it's really super simple, the film holder. You will laugh when you see how exactly you can make it. And it's really light tight. No light will seep in. I know it's really 19th century style and everything, but it really works. Yeah, I'm very happy with this one. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is the bottom. See, as you see, I put a little uh, metal plate there that I can use uh, to attach the camera yeah that's it uh, please like and subscribe and be sure to watch my next video where I will go into detail with some pictures on how really I put everything together because I think it's easy yeah but it's better I tell you what kind of things to do what not to do because you can make a lot of mistakes if you're not used to building cameras but this one is really cheap and easy to build. So, okay, have a nice evening. Bye-bye.